Hey guys, I'm Rosalvain, and welcome back to another part of Final Fantasy X. So where we last left off was that we were basically uh, getting sentenced to sort of our execution because of the fact that everyone in Yevon almost is dead technically, and they just haven't been un they haven't been sent to the uh, far plains. I think it's called yeah, far plains. So they they didn't get sent. Um, Seymour is dead, of course, and we knew that because we've been we killed him previously, and now he's still around, just hanging about. While uh, the Meister, Meister Mika, Mika, I think it's called, uh, is also dead, but also wasn't sent apparently in the last part. Ronzo is probably not dead, but he's just kind of there, sort of, to uh, be the judge. But he didn't have any say in anything. And then, of course, Kinek, Kinok, who's the asshole servant of Seymour, is an asshole. I don't. I. I. I it, the angers that I have so far in this game just cannot be expressed in any better way. Um, what is this? They said I can jump on this and it hits me up in a different direction or something. Well, let's see, what's in this area, anyways? Is, if there's fighting, then uh, that's a great chance for me to train Yuna while we're here. Yeah. Great time to actually start using uh, Bahamut, <clears throat> because Bahamut hasn't been used yet. So Bahamut's gonna be our first try for the thing. It's gonna be some vibration, you can hear it. I'm, 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 I'm gonna put it up near my mic. You can hear that like growling of the PS3's like controller. <laughs> oh, that lovely vibration. The wind going down. Ooh, ooh, lovely. All right, enough of that. It's like Seymour's kind of like beast. Oh my. All right, Muhammad is re really like. Oh my god, he has all the freaking magic. What the fudge, dude? Times one point five. Okay, yeah, that. And then the the ice will heal the the, the gel guy. Overkill. Oh my god. <laughs> Jesus! This Bah Bahamut is like, what the fudge, dude? Holy cow! It's overkilling people here. Just watch it, dude. You're not gonna win this. Oh, and they're all water types. Okay, so we can actually kill all these guys pretty easily. Um, if we use, uh, I think the 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 electric horse. I don't know what. I don't forgot what the name of the electric horse is. I think it was Ifix or something. Yeah, this is a great place to train for Yuna, I'm serious, but I just can't train her because we're we're kind of like uh, on video here, so we're just like... Uh, no, I want to use a Monosphere. Get her magic to go up. Um, yeah, so there's some things we need to go about doing this. So we're going to go po follow this pathway with the Sphere Grid. Um, I do have a level 4, don't I? Use... let me see. I have a I have... One, yeah, I better use that carefully. The HP sphere, I'm probably gonna handle that by giving it to somebody else instead. I might give it to Lulu, but then again, I don't know because Lulu seems to die often. Or no, not Lulu. Titus dies often, too often, way too often. Um, yeah, let's exit. Yeah, so we're gonna probably be able to train Yuna while we're here because she can use the Aeons, and the Aeons are technically her like her fighting knights in armor. Like if one Aeon's dead. Literally, like, we can still use another one in, in place of it. But then again, the, the Aeon- Oh, Kamari! Yuna, sorry we left you alone. No, it's okay. Alright, so now Kamari joins our team again. Yep, Kamari's in our team again. So we're technically looking for everyone in our crew. Oh, it's these bastards again. Why the hell do you guys keep bringing these bastards back in this game? I hate these bastards so much. These bastards are like the most dumb, dumbest little dumbest. I honestly don't know why they even belong to me. Alright, you're gonna be seeing a lot of the Aeon summoning because I'm just going to just train Yuna straight up because that's the only thing I can do. Um, yeah, because that's the only thing I can do. I don't have anything else I can run to. Uh, Please. Alright, let's go. Um, they're effective at fire. What? That's the first I've ever seen it. 
Maybe it's because they're uh, they're a different type, I guess. Memes of the confused rays, yeah. The confused rays is like easy to deal with, I think. Yeah, so they're easier to kill, but. All right, cool. Yeah, I just need Yuna to level up. I don't care about Kamari. Kamari, I don't. I rarely use Kamari. I really do rarely use him um, because I don't see the usefulness in Kamari at all. Um, but I'm only using Kamari because, like, if I have far distant, f like, fighting, I guess, maybe. Uh, I was going, I was going for a save, but that's totally fine. Summoning Ixion, there we go, that's the name. Ixion is the electric horse. Yeah, the electric horse seems to be more, the most, the most useful, actually, out of this whole crew for this area, I think. Um, considering that it's more electric type. More of an electricity type uh, Aeon. Alright. I like to call it Electric Horse too. I'm like, I, I'm a big fan of it calling it an Electric Horse. Or an Electric Zebra. I, was, I don't know. Get shocked to death, my friend. Ching! Dead. Ow. Ow. I attack him. Woo! That's a very huge hit. Oh my god. That's a very, like, over... Like, there's so many overkills in this so far. <laughs> like, at, between any Aeon, like, all, almost any Aeon is, like, considered, like, tough as hell to, to kill. Move it. Uh, yes. Use Ability Sphere. Awesome. Now we got Protect as an ability. Um, not useful right now, but we'll see. Let me go and save a little bit because we picked up Kamari. I think each room has like a different person, probably. Um, each particular corner of the area has a di different person, and each person's like kind of looking for, waiting for me to look for them. I guess maybe there might be Lulu over here. Probably, I'm not entirely sure. I mean, earlier there was like a water thing. I guess. Oh, there's a chest. What the heck is that? Elixir, nice. Oh, this is like the transport thing. For a, did you guys see that? Like for a second there was a. Are we? Am oh no, I thought we were ambushed. Uh, maybe Ifrit this time. But like, uh, apparently when Luna was touching the cliff thingy, the bobber, her her model became bigger for some reason, and then it just went back down. I was like, I was confused, I was like, what the heck's going on? It's fine, it's not a bad thing, it's just kind of weird to me for a second there. I think I saw it, but I, I'm, I might be imagining it. But yeah, overall, this game has been so far, like, slow in terms of, like... Oh, this guy's gonna die. No, damn it, I hate this, I forgot about that. Okay, let me kill this guy first. That's a definitely overkill, yeah. Immune to the, like, confusion, of course. Get out of here. Stop freaking bothering me, man. That freaking eyeball is like the most annoying thing in the world. Thank god there's freaking Aeons to help, like, not get confused. Because there's really, like, if it gets confused, it makes no sense because the Aeons can't attack anyone and that it's gonna sit there and just be dumbfounded for like a long ass time. Alright, um. Oh, there's Lulu. Yay, Lulu! It's okay, I know. I like how Luna, uh, Yuna, not Luna, I keep saying Luna, I said Luna by accident. I, I, I keep seeing Yuna just being apologetic when, like, she doesn't need to be. Like, I don't get why she needs to be apologetic. Okay, so we got whatever that purple thing in my bobber was over at the one room. Uh, let's go straight. Because we don't know where Aron disappeared to as well. So each room has a different person, definitely. Like, each square space is, like, a different person. But I'm gonna leave, uh... You know, to just keep, keep, keep on summoning. Just keep on summoning, like, uh, because I really want to, uh, train my Aeons and also train Yuna. Because as Yuna levels up, I think, I think, I'm not entirely sure. As I level up Yuna, uh, these guys level up with her somewhat. Somewhat. Not entirely sure, but somewhat. Actually, I don't think I actually ever summoned Please Shiva. help us! 
Yeah, I never actually summoned Shiva. I never did. Oh shoot! I didn't realize that. I never summoned Shiva. That. I like her kick. That was so funny. Or not funny. It was so cool. It's like, cha, kick, <laughs> dead. <laughs> Shiva's like comes across as like a ninja, ninja fighter. Like I, I thought she was just purely like you know mage like. She likes, she likes put some magic against us and such. Okay, we can't go through here. I think we need to activate something. Let's go straight here. We might bump into Oron eventually. And we might bump into the other three, which is Titus. Oh, there's Oron. I was right. I, I was right. Oron would be there here. There must be an exit somewhere. We search. I think that is the exit. The one we're looking at in, in front of us. Let me switch the team formation. I'm sorry, Kamari. I'm just not a big fan of Kamari's like stuff yet because I'm not needing it. Okay, we found the exit sort of, but we still need to find the rest of the crew, I think. There's still some people missing in this area, I think. And there might be some chests I might want as well. Oh. Ambushed. Okay, we're gonna get hit first. Water up. Okay. Trying to kill Yuna before uh, I summon a, an ability, I guess. Yep, I was assuming that much because this seems like a lot of them want to kill me. Uh, Ixion, let's go. That was like super random to be honest. It kind of sucks because a lot of this is like, a lot of the animation is cool, but just having it too many times just kind of gets boring a little bit. But I mean, there's no way to skip it, sadly. Enough. And like, we're gonna have to live with like, watching all the summons in one go, sadly. Enough. All right, let's go. Uh, attacking this guy, yes. Sadly, we're outnumbered. Black magic, thunder. Get rid of that guy first. Yep. Ow. All right, let's attack that, and we should be good to go. Alrighty. Yeah, so, like, Yuna, again, is just really fast in leveling up. Like, we can just level her up so quickly. Um, move, yes. Up, yes. Use a speed sphere. Agility goes up, so maybe she might go faster in terms of, like, how she... In term, turn, over, turn order, technically. Alright, let me save again, just because I leveled up and stuff, so might as well. Alright, um... It's such a shame that we're going to have to get into battles consistently until we find uh, everybody else. Gosh darn, the camera angle changes. It's like, screwed me a little bit there. All right, let's see. I like how Yuna runs too as well. She's just like, she's, I don't know if the skirt is like limiting her running or walking or if that's something else. Like, it's so interesting. Right, let's summon Shiva again. I really like Shiva. The way she just like kicks the hell out of these enemies. She's like, whoop pow it's just so funny. I like that. I like Shiva a lot. Just for that kick. Just for the kicks, man. Just for the rolling kicks. But yeah, again, this is my first time actually using... Uh, this is the first time in terms of the episode that I used her. Because I never got to summon her earlier. Because when they awarded me Shiva, I think it was when Yuna got kidnapped. And that's why I couldn't do anything about her using Shiva at that time. At least they also give a scan, like every Aeon apparently can scan, so they can kind of tell you the weakness and super effectiveness of what elements and stuff. It's kind of cool. Right, that was not much. S-Staff. Actually, I haven't actually seen my equipment for Yuna yet, like... Okay, no, I don't need them then. Never mind. We're good. I don't know if there's any way to... Again, I really wish that there was points in time where I can kind of like tell if I can uh, level these guys up. I don't... Sometimes I don't know if you can actually level them up on your own or something. Why, why do we need full life? That's another issue... Or not an issue, but like another thing I'm curious about. Like what happens if we took in these things? 
Yeah, I don't know what the full life is for. I really don't want- I don't- I don't know. I, I really do wonder what the hell those things are for. Like, what happens if I use it? Wait, you don't have scan? Sure, I guess. Teach him scan, I guess. I mean, it's not like I'm gonna use it eventually. Full life for Bahamut would be interesting. I mean, he does have the most health out of everyone, every Aeon that I have so far. Alright, well anyways, let's look for uh, if there's anybody, anybody else or if there's any chests left behind. So there was nothing else anyways around here. Um, in this area. There's a middle ground. I didn't actually visit the middle ground, I think. So we're gonna do one last scan of the area before we move on here. Preemptive attack so we can summon quickly. Uh, let's give it to Bah- Bahamut, because I think that each one needs to have at least, like, some sort of, like, uh, getting closeness to the- Like, at least have some room to getting them close to their- what was it called? Special, I think it was called? Yeah, because I want the special man so they could just be, like, used later on when we get into a boss fight. Um, because I know Yuna is gonna probably be in a boss fight soon. So Waka, Riku, and Titus are in their, their own team in the waters right now, so that's something you don't need to worry about at the moment. There's dead one, dead two, and then dead three soon. Very, very soon. And boom! Dead. <laughs> it's so funny because the preemptive attack just really helps a lot. Like Bahamut just got a lot of, out of that. Yeah, we're almost loaded up. Nice. Alright, let's go back here and then uh, pick up the heals here, because the sphere kind of helps us heal. Alright, not gonna save. Just gonna go straight forward here. Uh, I believe that's an orb we're gonna take. Yeah, I didn't get to use this earlier, so I don't know. Oh, it does take us over there. Okay. Um... Oh, whoa, what, what, what the, what the heck? We're in a different area now, what the heck? Oh, let me, let me save first, but, wow, that was random as hell. That was super random as hell. Uh, I don't know, Shiva maybe? I mean, Ifrit won't work because Ifrit's gonna die from the water gel guy, and then the other two have, like, water type attacks. It's not fun, it's not gonna be fun. Unless water type can be healed for uh, Shiva, then maybe that would be good. I don't know if water and ice mix well, because they should mix well in terms of, you know, like, idea-wise, like, physically it makes sense, like, water won't affect ice as much. But if, you know, if something happens, then it happens, I guess. Oh, they're, yeah, they're not gonna die easily, is it? Ooh, ow. Uh, yeah, she's all about Blizzard, damn it. Yeah, it's not gonna be easy. Um, yeah, let's kick... Yeah, Shiva needs more level ups, and at the same time, her attacks aren't helpful. Yeah, so water type do, does do damage. Um, let me kick you. I might have to unsummon, uh, Shiva, because she's not gonna... She's not gonna last long, either. Oh, never mind. Okay, she can still attack the... The water gel, but she's gonna die soon, so. Kick you. That should put less work on me. Yeah, it's just two more kicks, then, and uh, the water gel could die. But she might die faster than that, so I'm gonna probably unsummon her. Diamond Dust. Ooh. Okay, I'm gonna dismiss Shiva, because she needs to heal. Or at least take a little bit of, uh, a little bit of rest. I'm gonna finish the battle with Lulu, hopefully. Because she can probably be able to Thunder Guy the ass out of this guy. A storm comes. Plus I do need Lulu to, like, level up a little bit. Slightly, a little bit. Because Lulu needs a bit of, uh, damage to go against any boss that comes next, I guess. Alright, let's go and grab the Sphere Grid on Yuna. Move it. Yes. Use the health sphere, the power sphere. 
200. Nice. Uh, yes. Sweet. Um, let's go grab this seer here. Save. So I think that if I... Yeah, let me save this over. No, I'm trying to remember... I'm trying to think here what I wanted to say about this. So if... If I'm correct, the teleporting sphere actually teleports us to places that we can, I guess. Interesting. Um, yeah, so we can teleport to places we haven't been into. Some places are blocked off in gates, but yeah, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm backtracking again, but I wanted to because it, it cut me out and just like put me in a place where I didn't want to be in at the mo at that moment. So I was just confused, like how they just did that to me out of nowhere. Apparently, the sphere didn't. Oh no, the spear hit me, yeah, because this is Valifor's health. Valifor's health is 4. I guess HP is not as high as Yuna's anymore. <clears throat> because mine is like higher now. Due to Yuna. Due to Yuna's like health being like a lot higher, it's like. Yeah, anyways. Kacha! Not dead, okay. Ooh, okay, this is gonna be a rough thing if I don't start using magic on these guys. Oh, that's a miss. Interesting. Alright, that's a hit. Black magic. Do we have thunder? Yeah, we do have thunder. Um, yeah, let's kill off this one guy. See how much damage it takes, actually. Or gives. 2,000. Alright, so that's enough to kind of kill him if I was to at least do this earlier on rather than now. Now I'm about to die if I don't be careful here. I'm gonna use Valifor until he actually, he or she actually goes down. I think it's a she. Um. Yeah. Should be done. Unless it's a miss, but magic don't, magic doesn't miss at all. Like it rarely misses, to be honest. All right, cool. Got the thing we needed there. Um. Yeah. So there's a gate over there we can't go through unless we teleport behind the wall of that. Uh, what I wanted to do was to actually check out... Oh no, I can't go through here. The one thing I wanted to do was go in the middle and just go in the middle straight and see if it gets... Because I don't know what's behind that gate earlier, but we saw the gate. Or when we saw that gate. Uh, we can probably summon... <clears throat> Excellent. Because... Uh... It's either Bahamut or Ixion that actually can be able to be used in this fight, in these fights, because these guys seem to be the only one that can care less about getting hit by water type stuff. Shiva, mm, she has not enough health to survive, and like, like the ones who are below 2000s won't survive long, which kind of sucks. And again, that's why I wanted to make sure if I could, like, like I really wish I could just have some way to make them stronger somehow. I can't really figure out how to make them stronger, of course. Yeah, Ixion has like the most biggest damage output out of the uh, one of like one of the biggest damage outputs on the team for the Aeon. That's uh, another level up. That's good. Sphere grid for Yuna. Move it up by one. Yes. Use your monosphere, magic defense, good enough. Yes. Alright, let's go back here. Or get back here, I guess. So we're back into square one. This is gonna be my last time checking out this area, anyways, hopefully. Because I'm too tired of looking for this. I'm too tired of, like. <sighs> yeah, I'll save, whatever. Like, I'm too tired of, like looking through this area. This area is just kind of just eh. Ah. Uh, Alright, well let's just finish these battles fast. I'm not gonna summon this time. Being annoyed by the summon a little bit. Because it, the summon takes more time versus like other things, I guess. Oh. <laughs> tried to hit the arm. Uh, no summon. Pray. Oh. Okay, let's do that. Pray to the gods that he heal all. 
<laughs> Not much health, but okay, I'll take it. Alright. I feel like er I feel like Oron should have been like the one threat that they had. Oh my god, I'm attacking people my own people already almost. Well, that's an overkill. Thunder Rush should be enough, I think, to kill this guy. Unless Thunder Go would be the necessity to Yeah, I don't think so. Punk! <laughs> this 15 damage. Farewell. Farewell. Noron defeats the last guy once more. Uh, let me go and kill up again. Yeah, because the summoning takes too long and like... I do want to give Yuna all the things she needs, but... Yeah, I, didn't need I don't know why I'm saving. Why do, I, why do I need to save now? Like, we didn't level up or anything. We just literally just walk a little bit and then stopped. Alright, let's see what's up ahead. If there's nothing up ahead, then I'm screwed then. But I'm... Ah, see, this is what I meant. Like, there's something over here that there might be... That I might be missing, and I didn't want to miss it. Oh, oh damn it. More of these guys, man. Failure uh... is not an option. Mm. I guess raise the defense of someone? Magic de I don't know. I, I don't really know. Armor Protect, go ahead. Halt physical might. Alright. Oron gets the protection here. Farewell. I believe they do get affected by Thunder God. I don't remember if that's true or not. Ooh, that's gotta hurt really fast. Oh no, you know, no! I should have hit hit him! Hit him! Hit him pretty well. Oh my god, why does he, why do you get two attacks? What the hell dude? Get out of here. Freaking two attacks in one like one round? Come on. Come on. We can't do this to me. That's such a shame. Thing over here. I do not want to miss anything else anymore because I did miss out something. Okay, that's the thing to- okay, I see. See, that's what I would have missed if I didn't pay attention. So the wall here is gone already, or the wall here is not here anymore. Earlier there was a wall there that blocked me from going back, which made no sense to me, to be honest. Um, let's summon, I guess. Ixion! Let's go, Ixion! Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm stretching, and then I just ended up doing like this weird-ass summoning pose. Ah, Ixion! I don't know. Alright, well, hopefully... Hopefully hitting that area will be the last time we need to hit that area because... I don't want to bother with that thing again. It's getting annoying a little bit. It's getting annoying because we're just going in circles at most. And at the same time, a lot of these guys are not dying fast enough. If only, if only there was a Thunder God that just affects... Or Thunder Rod that affects all our, our enemies. If only that exists, that would have been fine, but messed up by pressing the attack on the wrong guy. I attacked the water gel by accident when I wanted to actually hit the, the this guy this here. So that water shouldn't hit me as much, but still damage me, I would say. Thunder, uh, let's go. I wonder if I can teach Thunder Guy with for Ixion right now. Because he still needs third level of thunder still. He's almost there, but he's just not there yet. Let me grab this. Save. Actually, no save, actually. Not yet. Now, let me go check over to the left here. So, the one thing we just did was to unlock this gate, I guess? Or sort of? Nope. Never mind. Alright, well... That's done goofed. That makes me done goofed. Okay, well, let's move on forward. A little bit, probably. Or maybe not. I might. This episode might be just this whole area, which sucks a little bit, but whatever. 
Um, maybe Bahamut, I guess? I don't know. I'm really not in the mood for anything different so far, I guess. Like, I, I don't know, it's just, I wanted to end the battle quick enough. I mean, run away is great and all, but just, I want to train and grind my characters, but... Then again, it's the worst time for me because I'm busy trying to get the hell out of here. And like, I can't get the hell out of here because these guys keep freaking coming out of nowhere and block my freaking face from moving forward. <sighs> oh well. Hang in there. Hang in there. Uh, I mean, these guys are gonna get pwned like crazy. Ow. He shot. <laughs> He shot his water spit at my freaking nut. <laughs> I'll take this hit. Alright, let's go for uh, Thunder Guy. Yep, let's end your life. I'm gonna overkill like crazy. <laughs> As usual, I'm gonna overkill like crazy on that guy. I mean, Bahamut has like almost the same amount of like magic damage as Yuna, or Lulu would have it. There we go. Uh, move. Yes. Use the power sphere for the defense. <clears throat> That's it, I think. Yes. Um, okay, so now let's keep on moving then, shall we? Let's actually start moving because I kind of just... Yeah, let's move forward a little bit. I'm going to save here and then let's move a little bit forwards because I don't like the fact that I've been... <clears throat> I've been stuck in this area for too long, and I know we're about to end this episode here. I want to move forward. Oh, god damn it. I just want to move forward. Oh, wait, it's a different thing. All right, let's just... Let's just uh, attack like normal. I don't know how much damage this thing has or means, but... Seeing that as a dark type, I don't think there's any elements that could kill it, but we'll see. Okay, never mind, it died. I don't know exactly what element it is, though, but... Alright, we got Lulu to level up, it looks like. Sphere Grid, Lulu. Move once. Down. Yes. Use your Monosphere for more MP. Eh, that's good, actually. That's some really good stuff. Okay, so we're heading into a different area. It seems like. It's like a whole different area, apparently. Uh, I don't know. Special? No. Attack maybe? I, I mean, I have nothing really. I really have nothing I can do with this. Let's try, uh, Blizzaga. Yeah, I never tried Blizzaga on this thing. I don't know which one does the most damage to me. It died, yeah. So it seems like if everyone attacked once with something, we should be good. And you know, once again, levels up again. Pretty fast, as usual. Right here. Yes. She can probably use a blank space for that. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna give her the health, actually. I'll give her the health. I mean, there's no point in not, like, not doing it. There we go. By 300, Jesus Christ, that's a lot of health. All right, well, I gave Yuna a little bit of the thing. Oh, this is going to the never another zone, another area. Lady zone. Yuna, so it is you. Why are you here? Yeah. We rode the airship to the calm lands, then came oh, to the Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Maester Kinnock summoned us then, ordered us to deal with the traitors. Oh, I see. <laughs> you will fight us. The temple's orders are law. Even if you are Lord Braska's flesh and blood, you're a traitor. Oh my god, come on. Don't His do that guardians, to us. guardians, I don't see them. Maroda and Pase are not here. I will do this unhappy deed myself. Even when you're gonna lose? Forgive me, Lady Yuna. Alright, here we go. It's, it's only Yuna versus this guy, technically. He's gonna summon something. Ifrit. Okay, got it. 
So Ifrit's gonna be the one he summons. That means I can't summon Ifrit. I have to summon something against that. And probably it's going to be Shiva. Either Shiva or Bahamut. And Bahamut is really strong in the world, so... Your, Your Aeon's against mine. Let's go, Bahamut. Let's go. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, uh, uh, what was it called? Ifrit? I'm sorry. I have to end your life, Ifrit. You're not gonna live to see the day of light back then. It's kind of funny because each summoner has, like, their own, like, some aeons, and, like, it has its own, like, sort of, like, being or going about, I guess. That's different from what we have it, so, or going that's different from what Yuna summons, so it's a little different. How about water? Yeah, I can't scan Ifrit at all. Holy cow. Holy cow. He's not dead yet. It's 6,000 health right there. Gone. Hellfire? Oh yeah, this is the uh, ultimate hit, right? Yeah, it's like when he uses his full power capacity thing. <clears throat> Like the whole special power capacity. Oh my. It's kind of funny because it's Aeon versus Aeon. If I lose, I wonder what's going to happen. Ooh, that was a weird drop. <laughs> that was a funny drop. It's like, oop. I mean, again, Water Guy. Yeah, he used his Hellfire too late. It's a bit too late with that. Kind of. And at the same time, I don't think any of these guys actually can summon Bahamut. So it kind of makes no sense for them to even try. Was that it? Another one? Oh, come on, dude. This guy summons, like, a bunch of Aeons, isn't it? And he doesn't do any, like, holes or anything. He just summons Valifor. Yes, I can tell it's Valifor. Now, a Valifor on the other hand, I don't know what to do for against this. It's not It's not over yet. Yeah, I know, I can tell. Maybe Ixion, I guess? Yeah, Valifor is like the weakest out of the two so far. I can see none of them actually have I, I I can see that Ixion doesn't have two thousand health on its own. It's kinda weird. Kinda weird to be honest. Alright, come on Ixion, let's do this. I think Ixion is the more powerful Aeon against Valifor, because Valifor is flight. Like, electricity in the flight would be bad for a bird, technically. Ooh. Boink. Miss. Ooh, that's interesting. Thunderill? Let's see how much damage that causes. A lot. <laughs> that's a lot of damage, to be honest. Oh my. Well, actually, no. It, it, it's supposed to not do that much damage anyways, because... Um, the reason why that should be is because, uh, because of the fact that our, our health compared to the boss fight is not, like, the same. It's never the same. It's almost dead, I can feel it. I should have sent him Bahamut, like, he's like, he got damaged a little bit from whatever it is. No! <sighs> why do you guys keep summoning these things against me like that? They're using energy ray, they're, they're using, like, all the others. Oh wow, that doesn't even do much. Holy cow, that doesn't even damage me much. Oh, that's it. Okay. It's probably one more. He, he's gonna probably summon Shiva or Ixion to fight against me because this guy seems like he's gonna summon three different Aeons. Yeah, I was right. I was redoing. I was presuming correct, technically. Oh, he summoned Bahamut. What? Here I thought he didn't have the ability to, but he, I guess he does. Oh, that sucks. That means Bahamut's gonna hurt the most. <clears throat> Bahamut's gonna hurt the most for me, I think. Because I don't know Bahamut that well, I just barely got him. But he seems like he's- I cannot let you Shut the hell up, dude. I get the point. <sighs> Bahamut versus... Ifrit. <laughs> you know what's funny? Let's do the opposite of what they what he did to us earlier. Let's let's summon the same beast that he summons and have Ifrit fight against Bahamut <clears throat> once more. I mean, 
what's the harm, you know? Like, he, technically, Ifrit's like my second most health wise. Like, he has the most health compared to the other guys. Alright, let's go. Um, attack. Sensors, there's. Yeah, it makes sense, I guess. Oh my. Countdown 5. Oh my god. That's really bad, isn't it? No, I don't even have anything good for freaking. Oh my god. Let's go Meteor Strike. Let's try that. I don't know how much damage that would cause, but highly doubt it. Oh, that's a lot more, actually. Never mind. That's considerable. Four. Oh, come on. That's so. Sh Three? What? Oh, yeah, because he gets two extra moves depending on, like, how he does it. I think Meteor Strike. I saw Meteor Strike, like, look like it's gonna. Two, and then it's gonna give him an extra turn. No? Okay, I'm gonna attack that one for now. One, and then the next one should be. Uh. Yeah, it's gonna be his move, and then he's gonna strike down with vengeance and fire as hell. Wow, that was a bigger hit than I usually would. Wait. Oh, Mega. F oh my god. What the hell? Mega Flare? What the hell is this? Is Oh, is it his ultimate? His little, like, special attack? I never got to use his special attack yet. Oh my. Holy crap. <laughs> it's the fire my laser. Laser kind of thing. I'm a fire my laser! Pfft. Wow, it didn't kill me. Alright, surprising. Very surprising. Both of us are in low health because he's actually- Bahamut's actually kneeling a little bit. Yeah. yeah, you're not gonna win this. Sorry. I mean, I can tell you're not gonna win this, Bahamut. I accidentally used the attack, but that's fine. Come on, let's do this. This should be the last attack, it looks like. Maybe not. Yeah, not. Not at all. It's funny because Ifrit's doing the most damage out of this fight. Is that it? Yes! We didn't lose a single Aeon to them. Yes! Oh! We didn't lose a single Aeon to him. Yeah, that's awesome. And what's funny is Ifrit beated, him, beat it, uh, Bahamut, even though his Ifrit couldn't be, beat our Bahamut at all, whatsoever. That's amazing. Uh, stay away. Stay away? Yuna, let's go. Yeah, we gotta get going. There's a way to the surface up ahead. Excuse me. All right. That should mark the end of our episode here. Your pilgrimage is over. Ooh. I like how Orin said that, but I I also despise the fact that it's true that he, his pilgrimage is over because it it pro it proves to him. It proves to this fella, 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 that he cannot do crap. Oh no, we're in, oh wait, we're in the tightest level, Jesus Christ. Ah, oh, I never got to freaking level her up, level her, uh, Yuna up, because she just got her level up. Alright, let me go and pick up this chest first. So this is a water level. Oh, this is a shop? Why would there be a shop in the middle of nowhere? Alright, let me see, do I need to sell anything? I can't sell any item or any uh, any what's my call it weapons and gears. I I rather sell my weapons and gears versus items because the weapons and items aren't really necessary. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. Leave a like, comment, subscribe if you guys haven't. Hope to you guys in the next part. Nobody minds, and hope you guys have a great, amazing day. We can night or whenever watching this. This will be it for me in this episode for now. Um, so in the next episode, we'll deal with Titus and seeing how he escapes and how he will fight against other people. At least I trained Waka and Riku in a previous air episode, but at least we did that. Um, but yeah, well in the next episode we'll deal with that. I'm sorry for extending this episode for too long because I was trying to not train Yuna, I was trying to literally get forward, but battles kept coming at me and then, you know, stuff like that, and stupid stuff, collectibles and such. I just ended up being, not collectibles, like collecting items, stuff distracted me a lot more. Um, but yeah, that's it for this episode, and so, hope to see you guys soon. So, Roz, out.